Hello and thank you for calling the Auto Glass Helpline. Today we are dismantling the inside of our Tesla Model 3 here and going to take all this apart so we can replace this windshield. Anyway, so just so you all know, you do not have to remove the mirror and all these electronics while it's in the vehicle. There is an easier way. Uh, I'd like to say I claimed credit for it, but I didn't. One of our other guys figured it out. So thanks to him. Um, that being said, uh, neat little kit here. If you go to iFixit, they are a big, co they're a company that's big into the whole right to repair. And they specialize in toolkits for like small electronics, like your phones, doing phone screens and such and Xboxes and all kinds of cool stuff. But cool little kit. This one I believe is called the Mako. And it's got everything you need and then some to take apart all the little screws in here. So, you know, I don't remember how much it was, but cool little kit to have um, for small screws and whatnot. And it fits in your toolbox nicely. Keeps everything compact. Got a nice magnets on the back so you can put your lid on the back or you can dump all your screws and stuff in here. Anyway. Nice little kit to have. Go check out iFixit. I am not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. I just really like their tools. So, taking apart this Tesla. First thing we're going to start with is taking this pillar cover off because what we're going to do is we're going to remove the wiring harness that runs down into the kick panel here, tape it to the windshield, and that's going to allow us to cut the windshield out without having to remove this and worry about dropping screws into the infinite abyss places that are in Teslas. So going to start with this pillar cover I'm going to pop him off of here like so get your fingers in here give him a pull pops loose and then these plastic keeper here has these little hammer heads on it and if you're dexterous sometimes there's only one hooked on it like this one was sometimes it's both of them and you got to give it a little twist but at any rate I'm going to pop this little panel off right there pull this guy loose and set him in the back seat so he does not get squished or smashed. We're going to take our other little panel and throw him up here. Actually, we'll put him down there in the corner. Then we're going to pull this away here. And we've got one little keeper right here. Be careful when you get your fingers, sticking your fingers in here because some of these pinch welds can be sharp. Like these guys here. I have a little burr, a spike on them, and I've, I've hooked myself on them before. Um, let me throw that guy right there. We're going to pull this kick panel loose from the back here. And this just basically slips right out. You can set that in the back seat as well so it's out of the way. And these are what we are looking for here, these three plugs. So we're going to unplug these guys here. Come on. Go. And then this one. That one there. And we're going to take our pig's foot and we're going to pop these guys loose here and there. situated inside here this guy that one's broken looks like somebody's been in here before pop that one and this guy here sometimes these come out easy sometimes they're a pain in the butt Let's set the pig's foot aside and we're going to remove our visor here because we need to pull this side of the headliner down. This is where our little kit comes in handy here. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to take our ever-present screwdriver and we're going to pop this guy off of here so we can access that Torx right there. So this can be kind of finagle that out of the way. Going to, I think it's this guy here. Yep, that's a little small. There we go. And nice thing about this is it's got the little spinny end on it, so you can spin it 
as well. I'm going to unscrew this guy. And we're just going to set him in the cup holder there. And to remove our visor here. You can see that hooks on the back. You got to kind of finagle that one loose as well. And we'll set him in the back seat too. This guy should just pop loose when you pull this down here. Like so. I'm gonna pull that down a little bit right there as well. So that gives us enough room to pull our wiring harness loose. So put this guy back up here and turn around here in the seat and get a look at what we're seeing here. So here is our wiring harness and we're just going to pull this all loose from here like so. And that gets us clear of our pinch weld. So, I don't know if you can see, pinch weld's way up here, wires are down here, and there are no other wires that run up into the headliner. So, bringing our wiring harness up onto the dashboard here, like so, you can see we are clear, and we can cut this out while leaving the mirror in place, which is a huge advantage. So, some people snap these off, some people will go through and actually cut this, uh, this guy here loose from the double-sided tape here um, because this thing it can it can hook your line and break your line so it's not real strong plastic it's pretty brittle as you can see that just broke there but also it uh, can cut your line relatively easy and that can be frustrating so I'm just Pull this guy loose here make sure you don't go too far and cut your wires and then that way your line is clear right there that is dismantling all of the interior and we're going to move to cutting it out all right see you soon